Why do some people get better and others don't? Like why doesn't everybody respond the same way after a total knee replacement for example? Is it based on the surgeon because they did a poor job or is it based on the patient participation because they didn't do their home exercise program? Is it the physical therapist because they gave old outdated treatments? Is it the physical therapist assistant? Maybe they didn't provide the treatments well. Is it the receptionist fault because they answered the phone rudely or because they didn't provide service with a smile or maybe it was the janitor's fault because they folded the pillowcases the wrong way. You know what's cool is when you go to a hotel and they fold the towels to look like a dog. That always makes me so happy. Like, we should do that in therapy. Like, fold the pillows to look like a little dog. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that honestly took way too long to make this. Ultimately, there are a lot of factors that affect patient outcomes, just like a hotel experience. Everything could be on point. You get to your room and you go in the bathroom and there's hair in the sink. That could ruin the whole experience. Or if you go to breakfast the next morning and it's stale, one component of a bigger system can affect the outcome. Whether it's the surgeon, the PT, the PTA, the receptionist, and even the patient, all of these people have an influence on whether or not the patient gets better. Because there are so many different people involved in the care of the patient, it's easy to pawn off why the patient isn't getting better on somebody else. Is it the physical therapist because they gave old, outdated treatments? Dude, is it the physical we've got to show that to Tim. He gives the worst treatments ever. Oh, it's not the 1980s, Tim. So as a physical therapist assistant, it's easy to say, well, the patient's not doing their home exercise program. That's why they're not getting better. Or, oh, the surgeon really messed up there. That's why you're not recovering well. Instead of blaming other people, we should look first at ourselves and how we provide care and see what's in our control and take responsibility of why the patient isn't getting better. It can be really hard to make changes and self-reflect on the things that we can do better. I think one of the reasons is we don't know what better looks like. We just feel like we're doing a good job and we're trying hard and we're putting forth effort, so how could we do any better than that? And the other thing I think of is that we're good at justifying. So even if somebody says, hey, you know, you could probably you know, do, do, do a better job with this, we think, yeah, that sounds good, but I don't feel like that's realistic or I don't have time to do that or you know we're, we're good at making excuses for our behavior I think small changes can make a big difference so if I think of a mindset and categories that we could start to look at to change the first one I think of is presentation so when you walk into the hotel and you're looking for the good hotel experience and you see a whole pile of laundry right when you walk in the doors it changes that the way you see the experience from the beginning so thinking about us we think of the way we present ourselves what we wear our body language and then the presentation of our facility is it clean is it orderly those are little things that we can start to change change that impact the patient outcomes. Another big component of patient outcomes is the quality of care you provide. So is it up to date? Is it research based? Is it evidence based? There are better ways of doing things based on research. For example, if you're a waiter and you give a customer a mint, you're more likely to get a bigger tip if you do that. Or if you introduce yourself by your name, then you're more likely to get tipped because people don't want to not tip somebody that they know. And this same concept applies in physical therapy if you're doing your treatments based on research and based on studies that people have done and taking the time to do to figure out what works better when providing treatment then you'll have much more successful outcomes not only knowing research but being able to communicate that research affects outcomes it reminds me of coaching I've had coaches in the past that make me feel encouraged and like I could be a better version of myself and they're very helpful and I've also been around coaches that make me feel discouraged and like I'm really not that great at something just by the way they communicate and encourage and talk to me. In physical therapy, we can come across a lot of different ways. By the tone of our voice and the words we choose to use, we can sound bossy, authoritative, we could sound encouraging and helpful. We could even sound indifferent, like we don't even care about the person. How we greet people, how we teach them how to do an exercise, how we explain their pain can make somebody feel really empowered or really hopeless. Yeah, this is the worst knee I've ever seen. You're screwed. Here's your home exercise program. I'm gonna I need you to do it three times a day for four weeks, okay? Uh, I work and I have kids and I just, no. That means, do you wanna get better? Like, suck it up, buttercup. You better be counting or else you gotta start over. It's actually kinda hurting my knee. No pain, no gain. Suck it up, buttercup.
<laughs> so how we communicate can really affect outcomes. Since there are so many different components to providing patient care, is there a recipe for success when it comes to the PT, the PTA, the surgeon, the receptionist, how we choose to speak to someone? Is there a way to do it? Is there a recipe that will yield good results every time? We will be posting a video next week on is there a recipe for success? So check it out. And if it's already been a week, then the video should pop up on the screen somewhere. We're getting ready for our next eval. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please subscribe if you are new. We post weekly content every week. That's what weekly means. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.